Secretary, you touched on this briefly uh, a moment ago, but I think it's worth revisiting due to its importance. When we spoke at this hearing last year on the topic of hypersonic weapon development, you indicated that you were not happy that uh, where we were or where we needed to be. And thanks in large part to your efforts during your time as Secretary of Defense, we've seen a major shift in focus and support towards hypersonics. Uh, my state of Tennessee has a vested interest in this issue with all the work that's done at Arnold Air Force Base in Tullahoma. Uh, what concerns me, though, is the aging infrastructure and significant investments required across the range and test center uh, enterprise. And as you're aware, both class of hypersonic weapon systems have significant and strenuous test capability requirements. But because we minimally address the long-term needs of hypersonic uh, development in the past, a place like Arnold, Holloman, Edwards Air Force Base face enormous challenges to maintaining and improving existing systems. If we aren't pri prioritizing our test and evaluation facilities, then in a sense we're really putting the cart before the horse. And I think you agree and share these concerns and sense of urgency. Uh, but what would you suggest? How do we work together to address this problem and prioritize the challenges faced by our testing centers? Yeah, Congressman, you're hitting on uh, what I found was what we call the limiting factor, uh, frankly. It wasn't just our organization. It was that we were not set up to embrace the uh, the required uh, have the facilities that would embrace the whole uh, challenge of uh, hypersonics. So in the budget, we've addressed this to a degree, uh, but we are going to have to have a complete program support program for this. This is going to be a major effort. Uh, Comptroy, do you have anything additional on it? All right, yeah, so just rest assured, sir, that we know where we want to go, and this is one of the key building blocks to getting us there. Okay, one uh, final question for both you and the chairman. Earlier this year, Mr. Putin announced that Russia had developed a series of new types of strategic offensive arms. Uh, do you agree that Russia should honor the terms of the treaty and agree to limit those new arms under New START? Uh, Sir, I, I believe they should. However, I will tell you that what he brought up that uh, in that video, if that's the one you're referring to, Congressman, uh, I studied it closely and talked to people on my staff who uh, know these issues very, very well. Nothing uh, that President Putin said that day in his, I think, electioneering uh, changed my strategic calculus one bit. I wish him a good arms race with himself. General, did you have anything to add? I see it the same way, Congress. Okay. Uh, I just want to thank you all for your service. We so appreciate you, and thanks for being here today. And I yield back, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Carbajal. Thank you.